I've been receiving a lot of emails lately with questions about becoming a health coach. I think just given the times we're in and the renewed focus on healthy living. So if you've ever thought about becoming a health coach or using it as a jumping off point to start a line of products, a wellness brand, or I don't know, even maybe becoming an influencer, then today's video is for you. It's always hard to look ahead and imagine how the choices we make today will impact our future. But in hindsight, things are much more clear. And looking back, I can tell you that becoming a health coach was absolutely a pivotal moment for me. At the time, I had just left my corporate career as a burned out executive and decided to take a year off to reset my body and mind. But in that year off, I signed up for a health coaching program. I started a little old website called Downshiftology, not having any idea what I was doing. I traveled around the world for six months. I came back, I finished the health coaching program, and then I decided to go all in on this thing called Downshiftology. Today, just five years later, Downshiftology is my full-time business. It reaches over 100 million people a year, which is pretty mind-boggling. I've got a handful of employees, I have an amazing community, all of you guys, and honestly, I just couldn't imagine doing anything else. So I'm not a health coach in the traditional sense, but becoming a health coach was instrumental in what I created with Downshiftology, and all of the knowledge and education that I learned is woven throughout every single thing that I do. Now before I dive into the nuts and bolts on today's video, I do want to say that this is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing my personal experience having gone through a health coaching program, and I went through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I am an affiliate for the program as I had a positive experience, but there are numerous programs to choose from and I always encourage you to do your own due diligence and find the program that best aligns with you. All right, let's start with the basics. What is a health coach? And I think it's sometimes easier to describe what a health coach isn't, which is that they are not a dietitian and they are not a doctor. A health coach does not provide any sort of medical advice and they don't prescribe any type of medication. Instead, a health coach inspires, motivates, and provides a certain level of accountability, similar to how an athletic coach might work with a star athlete or a business coach might work with a CEO. And speaking from personal experience, I've had both of those coaches. I had an athletic coach as a gymnast when I was a kid growing up, and I had a business coach as an executive in the corporate world. So I know the significant value that a coach can provide. In terms of what a health coach does, think of them as your guide to help you make impactful lifestyle and behavioral changes across a wide variety of areas, including everything from food and nutrition to stress and sleep to movement and exercise, among other things. They work with you to change old habits and help you to create new, more positive habits. I always say that many people know what they need to do to be healthy, but they just don't do it. You know that eating a Twinkie isn't healthy. I don't think that's rocket science, but there's a lot of factors that go into why you still eat it. And that's something that a health coach can work with you on. So if you've been thinking about becoming a health coach, I think there's three reasons that make sense for you to pursue it. The first is that you wanna improve your own health and that of your family. Now, I know it may seem surprising, but many people who enroll in a health coaching program have zero desire to start a business. They simply wanna learn about nutrition and holistic health to benefit their own wellness and those around them. Trust me, there are things that I wish I knew 10 years ago about nutrition and wellness and self-care that may have mitigated the numerous doctor appointments I had as I was unraveling my own autoimmune diseases. But looking back, I had no idea how much diet and lifestyle played a role in flaring my own autoimmune conditions. So if you think about health coaching as an investment in yourself, it really is preventative medicine. I am super thankful that I am personally happy and healthy today, but an education in wellness and holistic health can't be underscored. And that alone leads many people to pursue health coaching. The second reason to pursue health coaching is of course to make a career out of it and positively impact the lives of others, either working as an independent health coach or working with doctor's offices as part of their clinical practice setting. Many leading edge medical facilities like the Mayo Clinic now employ health coaches on staff because they understand the value that health coaches provide in helping their patients achieve success. I also think that it's not surprising that over the last 10 years, health coaching has gained in popularity because our understanding of the impact that diet and lifestyle have on chronic disease and autoimmune disease has also increased. 
So if you're interested in providing health coaching services either in your local community, online, or as part of a bigger healthcare system, then health coaching might be right for you. And the third reason is that you wanna create a wellness-centered business, but not necessarily coach people individually. And I've seen this as a large trend, especially recently, where a lot of people pursue health coaching to have a solid, well-rounded background in nutrition and holistic health, to then go into other business endeavors. Many health coaches go on to write cookbooks, hold wellness retreats, create packaged food companies or kitchenware lines, and even create old school bricks and mortar businesses like yoga studios or healthy cafes. And this is the bucket that I actually fall into with my health coaching journey. Because soon after I started my website, I realized that I could positively impact so many more people around the world with my food blog, my YouTube channel, and just being a social media influencer. I could help to inspire people to make small but impactful changes. So if you wanna create a business, but not necessarily coach people individually, health coaching does provide a broad-based wellness background for you. So with all of those reasons on why it makes sense to become a health coach, I think it's always smart to balance it with a pretty big reason on why you shouldn't pursue health coaching. And that's if you think you're gonna to make tons of money as soon as you get your certification. Can you make an income as a health coach? Absolutely. I think I am pretty good proof of that, as are other individuals that I've highlighted on my website in interviews who were health coaches and then went on to create amazing businesses. And I will leave links to those interviews below. But creating a career won't happen overnight and it will take quite a bit of effort. Similar to how a college degree does not guarantee you a job, a health coaching certification does not guarantee you a career. You're gonna have to work really hard at it. You're gonna have to build your confidence, your business skills, and your marketing savvy. So five years later, I still believe in the value of health coaching and the focus on simple and sustainable lifestyle changes that can have a profound impact on your overall wellness. If you are considering becoming a health coach, I hope you found today's video helpful and hopefully it gave you a little food for thought. I will also leave some links below to articles I've written on my website about health coaching. And next week, I will be back with a tasty new recipe that I know you're gonna love.